Tropical storm Kalmegi is approaching the Philippines at this time, now with winds of 40 miles per hour current time. It is a very highly sheared storm at this time as it continues to support the Philippines. And this is what the CDPS is looking like for the storm right now. Rainfall being the main threat of course, stage 5 at the moment which is devastating. However, the storm size is expected to be minimal and wind speed is expected to remain low though we cannot rule out a minimal typhoon landfall on Luzon at this point. Right now it's at 13.5 degrees north, 127.8 degrees east at 6 o'clock a.m. in the Philippines this November 14th. Right now the storm is located 468 miles from Manila, 259 from Sarsalgan City, 251 from Taclavan City, and 316 from Naga, all those being of course in the Philippines. This is what the GTWC is forecasting at the moment. They are forecasting probably an intensity of landfall of 50 miles per hour, that would be 45 knots. However, at the moment they are going with a rather weak system, a 35 mile per hour tropical depression, which I would be inclined to agree with based on its current appearance. This is what Caesar temperatures are looking like around the storm right now. They are looking fairly conducive for intensification, but they are really going to drop off a cliff once the storm passes over Luzon and moves into the South China Sea and it'll probably dissipate in that area. The chance of tropical storm force winds for this storm, 45% in Manila, 90% in Santiago on Luzon, 9% in Tacloban City, and 58% in Baguio. However, the storm, it should be noted rather, that the storm could deviate towards the southwest of its current forecast. This is what the models are saying. They are roughly in agreement of a Luzon landfall, the CTCX going out on a limb and going by rapidly intensifying system and passing towards and recurving towards the east, Cat 4 in the end by the looks of it. However, most models do keep it weak, GFS calling for a minimal typhoon out of this. Initially, as we can see on the satellite imagery, shear is weak, sea surface temperatures are pretty good, relative humidity is going to drop slightly as the storm approaches land. So this is how the storm has been looking in the past few hours. It had a big flare of convection recently and then it just died. So it's looking pretty ugly right now. And if I had to guess, we're probably going to have another flare of convection as you can start to see near the center right now. And this storm should begin to intensify quite, quite soon. That's all for now. We'll have another update soon on this system as it approaches the Philippines.